So the overlying objective of this meal was to create an emotional dining experience and this was done in a few ways. Um, I wanted to draw from certain memories I had as a child and certain food related experiences I had growing up. Although I tried to involve all five senses to create a complete sensory experience, I played a lot with smell and sense. Where we can only taste five things, bitter, sweet, salty, sour, and umami, we have the ability to smell over 10,000 different odors, and smell and odors give us flavor. I also hope to present the food in a new and exciting way stimulating the diner's interest and appetite before they began to eat the food. So here I took fresh cantaloupe, juiced it and added some sugar, and then strained it and blended it with Pure Coat B790, a modified food starch. And then I poured it over sheets of acetate and spread it very thinly um, and let it dry overnight. Once dried, I was able to cut and peel thin sheets off of the acetate. I then took prosciutto, um, rendered the fat out of it, so I just had the liquid, and mixed it with tapioca maltodextrin um, to get a powder, and then out of the powder I formed um, prosciutto powder cubes. I then took an individual cube of the prosciutto powder and wrapped it in a sheet of the cantaloupe glass um, and then stuck it in the dehydrator for 12 hours. Essentially the cantaloupe, which is normally a soft and chewy fruit, becomes crispy and crunchy and the prosciutto becomes soft and chewy like the melon itself. It's a reversal of textures. In the fall I used to go to this place called the corn crib with my mother to get corn for dinner and I remember the corn crib smelling really strongly of hay um, and then for dinner usually that night we would have the fresh corn we got from the corn crib, uh, which to me I associated with the smell of hay, chicken, and that's basically all my brother and I would eat, and some other vegetable. For this dish, I wanted to incorporate those elements that reminded me of a fall dinner with my parents. So I roasted chicken on top of a bed of hay from a field behind my house. For the corn element, I simply made a cardamom spiced corn polenta. With the hay infused chicken and the corn polenta, I added fresh apple, another fall ingredient. And I made the single bite skewers on stalks of hay. I then took the skewers and tempura fried them and the goal of this was with the heat of the oil I hope that it would release the volatile oils in the hay um, thus scenting and flavoring the bite as you bring it up to your mouth and eat it right off the stalks of hay. So the only other regular meal that we had growing up was every Tuesday night the local store got fresh fish. So we would have salmon and usually with broccoli or asparagus. So here I took a salmon steak, um, seasoned it just with some olive oil, and the olive oil also helps with the heat transfer. Um, I cooked it in a water bath or sous vide at 114 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Uh, the sous vide method is used really for two reasons. 
first it results in incredibly smooth and perfectly cooked fish and also vacuum sealed it retains all of the nutrients of the fish then I simply brown the edges in some spice butter to give it some color and a little extra flavor I then took asparagus uh, pureed it with some olive oil, salt, and pepper, and calcium lactate. Um, then here is a sodium alginate bath used to make asparagus spherifications. To plate, uh, I made some carrot and beet paint. Basically, carrots and beets pureed with butter. Um, I took some lemon juice and sodium lecithin blending them to make some lemon air so here you have cauliflower puree sous vide salmon asparagus spheres lemon air and in the back is also some guinness air so the next course is something also from Alinea basically it looks at a salad as a palate cleanser These bitter and acidic flavors after the savory course and before the sweet course. Uh, however, you have to chew salad um, and the perfect palate cleanser should dissolve or disappear in your mouth leaving no residual flavor or texture. So I took salad, blended it, and juiced it and I froze it along with red wine vinegar. Um, and then made a granita out of both the salad juice and the red wine vinegar. So here you have a palate cleansing salad granita. I've always had a big sweet tooth, so this meal has three desserts, kind of increasing in sweetness as they progress. When I was younger, we went to the Bahamas, and at the place we stayed at, we had a papaya tree. Um, every morning, we would have fresh papaya with bananas, fresh coconut, and lime juice. It's an amazing, refreshing combination. So I wanted to combine those very simple four elements into a dish. Um, here are papaya spheres poached in coconut milk. I then took bananas and dehydrated them to make them crispy. So here's the cold papaya spheres on top a single banana chip around it some cold coconut milk and then on top some lime air then a little fresh lime zest so it's a very simple and refreshing dish So, usually at the end of a meal, people drink coffee with their dessert. Um, and I wanted to combine the two, the dessert and the coffee. Um, and to me, there are three basic elements to a cup of coffee. You have your coffee, your sugar, and your cream. Uh, but everyone makes their own cup of coffee differently. So I wanted to give the diner that freedom that they had with this dessert. Um, to me, also, the smell of coffee is the most powerful part of a cup of coffee so I really wanted to keep that part of the dish without necessarily drinking the coffee itself so for the coffee element I took black coffee and made a granita out of it then for the sugar part I made a caramel and then mixed it with tapioca maltodextrin to make a very fluffy soft powder um, that when comes in contact with heat or moisture returns to a soft chewy caramel I then took sugar packets actually dumped the sugar out and filled them back up with the caramel powder 
and for the coffee smell uh, which again is so important I simply brewed a small cup of coffee next to the diner's plate again purely for the coffee odor so here is the coffee granita the sugar packets and then for the cream element I took cream air and froze it which results in something that dissolves immediately in your mouth but leaves you with the flavor of cream so here the diner can add as much sugar element and cream element as they want um, as they normally would with drinking a cup of coffee For the last dessert, I took something that was a tradition in our household. Um, every Sunday morning, my brother, my father, and I would wake up and make pancakes with fresh berries from our garden and bacon. So I took blueberries, poached them in red wine, and then I took a raspberry puree and made some spheres. I then made very thin and crispy pancakes, so they were almost like pancake chips. Here is a bacon powder. This is the syrup element, again maple powder. and then finished with the raspberry spheres, some micro mint, and a reduction of the red wine poached blueberry sauce. So here you have Sunday morning pancakes.